Hi guys, welcome back to Free Storing Mama. Okay, so this is gonna be the start of a um, whole series of videos I'm gonna be doing over the next three months. These aren't gonna be the only videos I'm gonna be doing, but I am gonna be putting them into a series so that if you wanna to refer to these, this is where, where they will be, like a playlist, I guess, if you will. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be, plan so my family's going on a week-long camping trip coming up the early part of this summer. And we wanted to do most of our meals as freeze drying because we're not taking our camper. We're not taking really anything more than two big free, two big, we're not gonna be taking more than like two large coolers. And as you know, for eight people, that's not a lot of food. So I, we decided that what we're gonna do is stick to the minimum. So like, you know, sour cream maybe in the tub, but the things that, that we kind of want fresh, we're gonna keep in the cooler. So there's two coolers, large coolers. The rest for that week, we're gonna do freeze dried items. Now, I, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you in these this series of videos how I'm planning meals. I'm gonna be showing you on screen how I'm planning the meals. I'll provide those same planners for you to access so that you can use them as well for your own um, excursions or your own food storage or whatever. But what I really want you to see is how to plan. And then what I'm gonna be doing is freeze drying them and packaging them. And if there's some in there that might be kind of like, oh, how do you prepare that to put that into the trays? I'll make sure and link to that video or make a video for that. So in between the planning videos and the freeze drying, you probably won't get anything from that, but I will make other reconstitution videos that, that, that kind of correspond to that item that I'm making for the camping. But once we go camping is gonna be the big thing. We're gonna go camping. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna store it and pack it and plan everything like that. Who's gonna take what in their backpack, so on and so forth. But the biggest part is going to be when we are camping and we're going to reconstitute that in a camping or in a survival situation. So we'll be taking our wall tent, we'll be taking all of those things, you know, doing the campfires, doing all of that. And I'm going to show you what to do when you filter your water, um, when you boil your water, all of those things that you need to do to reconstitute these bags. Okay. And I will be using, if you want to be following along with me and doing the same things I am, I'll be using the one, um, the five mil one quart resealable bags, Mylar bags from um, Pack Fresh. Um, I also will be using the 300 cc O2 absorbers inside each of those bags. This is for everything. That way I can put them in the bag of my seven year old or I can put them in the bag of my 46 year old husband and anybody can carry them no matter what's in them, okay? Plus one of these bags will feed three of us depending on the food. If it's like my turkey taco soup, I will eat one bag and the rest of them will have to split a bag. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. Maybe. Okay. We won't talk about it. My turkey soup is phenomenal. Um, and I'll put, and I'll, in fact, I'll do a, my turkey taco soup, I'll do like a video that has the recipe on it because it's one of those, those recipes that, um, it will make it so that you won't gain weight in the end of the world. Uh, it's like a Weight Watcher. It, it even, it even um, satisfies Weight Watchers zero points and stuff. So it's really, really great. And you can take the beans out and make it a keto friendly dish. Um, so there's lots, there's lots of things that we're going to be doing. I'm so excited. I'm going to start putting up these planning ones here because it's April and we're going to be going maybe June. Um, so I only have two months and I've got to get stuff ready and you're going to come along for the ride. So if you have any questions or you want me to throw in those as we're getting these videos up, let me know because I can usually address them in a video or I will answer them in the comments. I'm having so much fun talking to you guys in the comments and I'm just so excited that you guys are doing this with us. Wherever you are, I hope you're safe and I hope you're having fun with your freeze drying journey. Thanks you guys and hit subscribe because I don't want you to miss this. It's going to be so fun.